Shanghai Zendai unveiled their 8.5 billion US dollar vision for Modifontine. The area was previously an industrial complex that manufactured fertilizer and other chemical products. It's been dormant for some time now as the previous owners attempted to develop a residential offering. Now the first phase has got a kickstart from local government. The immediate thing that we have done um, as part of incentivizing uh, uh, the, the investors to come to Gauteng was us putting together a team a multidisciplinary team that worked with them and hence this uh, project has been accelerated. In the first phase, in the next three years, we will uh, planning for three billion uh, local currency of in infrastructure including roads, electric, water and uh, schools, primary schools and uh, some part of uh, higher education. One of the key economic drivers in South Africa is to get local entrepreneurs involved in businesses. This is part of the government's initiative to build a black industrialist sector, which is part of the country's black economic empowerment program. The local content for this development is quite important, as well as the transfer of skills and knowledge, because some of our contractors have never been involved in this kind of uh, huge contract. The developer also sees some potential for foreign companies to get involved with local suppliers, but at a different level. Some supplies could be easier by a local enterprise. Something difficult, but uh, something could, uh, could uh, be happened. The proposed new project sees local government funding for bulk infrastructure upgrades like main roads and other services. The fact that this project has funding and backing from local government and incentives in place augurs well for the future of this multi-purpose project. The proof in the pudding, though, will be whether private investors come on board. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV.